Now the other way that you can create uh, raster surfaces from uh, data and create, you know, uh, from survey information, LiDAR data, is to do it from the ASCII point files, um, which is the second exercise uh, regarding those points that we're going to do. <clears throat> so create surface from a set of points. We're going to grab them from a file. We could grab them from an FTO connection. We could grab them from a series of points that are already in the drawing. But for us, we're going to grab them from the Bare Earth ASCII files. There are four of them. Let's grab them. There we go. All right, uh, we're going to assign a coordinate system as we did before. And we're going to create uh, downtown four by four AU, uh, a, f a layer uh, that we're going to put the resulting uh, surface on. So this is going to read the bare earth files. This is data that Alexandria got in ASCII format that was post processed. Um, and that should give us uh, a second raster DEM that we can use for a different purpose. And we'll see more clearly how we're going to use it when we get back into InfraWorks. But let's add those files and let's see what happens. So it starts to add the points and it goes through a number of steps when processing. Now it's exporting the points to create the GeoTIFF file. And here we go. <clears throat> okay, so that's uh, the bare earth file. Uh, far from perfect. Um, you know, this is the, you know, obviously this is an overpass. That's how you can tell because this is the ground support for the entry to the overpass, the bridge going over here. Uh, and uh, the earth side of it is underneath that. So that's pretty good, really. Um, you know, there's some noise in there. This is very typical of uh, LiDAR files. But we've got our second surface that we're going to be able to use with the other one. That's great.